Welcome back. We're following developing news that the Tennessee Highway Patrol has confirmed that two people have died after a head on crash. Drew Balea is live right now in Cleveland on Highway 60. So, Drew, how did this happen? Hey, good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Greg. Very, very sad and graphic situation that happened last night here on Highway 60 in Bradley County. Take a look behind me. I want to walk and show you what remains at the crash site this morning. You can still see the tracks along the ground leading on to the uh, westbound lanes, and you can see where a car skidded to a stop. And then up here, you can see where sand has been put down, sand and gravel. Uh, sometimes they use kitty litter, and that's to help soak up some of the liquids that come out of these cars when they crash. Take a look at the video that we have from last night. I will warn you, it can be a bit graphic if you're seeing it for the first time. Uh, according to police, uh, one car was traveling uh, westbound on uh, Highway 60. Another car attempted to make a pass, and that's when they ran into a third vehicle head on. Two people were killed in that crash. One person was uh, taken to the hospital for minor injuries and released. So they are recovering this morning. But again, two people lost their lives this morning. Uh, police do say that's speed may have been a factor, and after uh, seeing some of this video, it's easy to see that this was a very violent, violent wreck. Uh, here's what one of the Tennessee Highway Patrol officers had to say. Basically, just, just obey your speed limits, you know. Don't be out here speeding. I mean, if the person more than likely hadn't been going so fast, we wouldn't be having this crash out here at this time. So just, you know, pay attention. Don't be in a hurry. Slow down and take your time. It's the best thing we can tell you. So again, the investigation at this time has finished at the location of where the crash happened, but there's still a lot of paperwork and a lot of testing to be done, uh, as well as the autopsies on those bodies. Now, police have not identified the victims in this crash, but as soon as we get that information, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, I'm Drew Balea reporting live in Bradley County. Back to you, Sarah, Greg. Drew, thank you for that live update from Georgetown Road this morning.